I was thinking back to when I first started this channel and I was kind of in the beginning stages of plant collecting and I thought, you know, it would have been so helpful to know which plants are really worth the money, especially the ones that are rare or uncommon and hard to find because remember when plant prices were so incredibly expensive and high and I would go spend all this money and I'd bring the plant home and I would feel like, mm, I don't know if it was worth all of the money I spent. So I thought I would share 10 uncommon or rare plants that to me were definitely worth the hype. They're definitely worth the money, um, whether they're easy to propagate, easy to take care of, just it's astoundingly beautiful in person, whatever the reasons may be. As we all know, a lot of plant prices are coming down. A lot of plants are more readily available. So like I said, these aren't necessarily rare plants. Um, a lot of them are more uncommon, but can be found more easily than they used to be. Like they can be found on Facebook Marketplace, Specialty Nursery. So the only reason I say that is don't go into this thinking, oh, I could never find that plant because, or, or, or afford that plant because you probably could nowadays. These are in no particular order, by the way, um, or in particular price or anything like that. And it was hard to narrow it down to 10. I just didn't want the video to be 40 minutes long. So I can do more of these videos if you guys are enjoying this content. But I thought I'd start off with this beautiful, beautiful plant, again, in no particular order. But this one is a variegated lipstick plant. Anyways, this plant has been incredible. It was worth every penny. Again, it was only $14, but I would have easily spent $100 on this plant and it would have been worth it. First of all, it is really easy to care for. For me, I'm not great at staying on top of watering. I'm an underwaterer and this plant does really well with that. It doesn't mind the fact that I'm not on top of it with watering. It just chills and it doesn't have to get a ton of light, which I was kind of surprised about. Um, it's, you know, quite a few feet back from the window where it lives. And it's just as happy as can be. The other thing that I really like about this plant is that it does bloom. I don't have many blooming plants and look at these beautiful flowers. It is called a lipstick plant because of the beautiful flowers. Now, sometimes you can even find variegated lipstick plants at big box shops. Here you can see some of the variegated leaves. They're just really, really lovely. Um, it's such a great plant. It grows new growth all the time. You can see new um, growth coming out here. Another reason I love this plant. When it gets a lot of sunlight, the leaves do become a bit sun stressed. Again, this one's not getting a lot of light, but look at these cool purple leaves. I just am in love with this. Love, love, love with this plant. This plant has been so worth it. I'm absolutely in love with it. So if you do manage to find one of these and you're on the fence about it, 10 out of 10 recommend getting it. As far as care, it's incredibly easy. I just water it when the soil's dry. Even if I forget, this plant, like I said, is very forgiving of that. Next up is this beautiful Hoya Linearis. I paid $65 for this plant, and it is absolutely breathtakingly stunning, especially in person. Um, when I saw pictures of this Hoya, I wasn't entirely sold on it. I'm like, I don't know, it looks kind of stringy. But in person, it's so cool looking. I get compliments on it all the time. The they're, the leaves are so delicate and they're kind of fuzzy as well, which is unexpected. And this one puts out blooms a lot for me. As you can see, this Hoya has some beautiful peduncles already coming out. They're still baby peduncles, but they're scattered all throughout this plant. I do recommend if you can find a large size plant of this to go ahead and get a large one of them because it's so worth it. Like, look how beautiful this plant is. This was worth every penny of $65. When I brought this home, I was so glad I got this plant. Um, I found this one at Plant House in Charlotte. They had these huge baskets of them for a while. I think they do come into stock from time to time. So keep an eye out because it's so incredibly worth it. Again, Hoyas are so easy. Um, they handle my underwatering really well. This is a Philodendron 69686. And it was on my wish list for a really long time, but I never went ahead and did it because I just, I wasn't sure if it would be worth the money. Um, I can't remember how much I spent on this, maybe 150, 150-ish dollars. And this plant is amazing. I love it so much. It thrives on neglect. It's easy to propagate and the leaves are so beautiful. It's one that looks a lot like a, like a, a yopi. <laughs> 
the older and more mature the leaves get, the more it looks like that plant at a, for a fraction of the price. This is the newest leaf that has come out. And as you can see, it really is starting to get that defined look. And it's amazing. It's really easy compared to other plants that I've had pests with that just like can't seem to shake it. This one was like, all right, fine, psh, get rid of the pests. And it just really did well. It's always putting out new leaves. You can see a new leaf coming out here. I have it on a plank in the hopes that I can like train it to go back and maybe um, adhere to the plank. Um, it's such a great plant and I just don't hear about it that often, uh, you know, in the plant community. But to me, if you want, a, I would just get this one instead of a Yopii because it still has that beautiful leaf shape at a fraction of the price. And to me, it's worth the money, especially with it being so easy care, easy to propagate, you know, all the things. In love with this plant. Now this one is a jade skin dapsis. We all love skin dapsis, right? They're so well known in the plant community because they're so easy care. They're really wonderful plants, great to propagate. They grow really fast. And this one is no exception. And it's just a little bit harder to find. Well, a lot harder to find. I've only ever seen it once in the Charlotte area. I found this one at Grow. This one was $58, surprisingly. Again, uncommon, hard to find, but if you can find it, I just thought this was a great deal for $58, a really hard to find plant, and it's just thriving. I mean, these leaves are so incredibly beautiful, and my friend Dora, who I did a plant tour of, and she has so many, I mean, she has 500 plants or something, she said if there was a fire, this is one of the plants she would save because she loves it so much because it is so fabulous, and I 100% agree with that. This is such a wonderful, wonderful plant. This is a plant that will tell you when it's thirsty because the leaves will start to curl in, curl inwards when it gets kind of thirsty. But you know, any Scandapsis variety is a good go-to. Um, if you, you know, if you can't find one of these or if they're out of your budget, any Scandapsis is fabulous. You can find lots of them at big box shops. Okay, so here we have my Monstera Thai Constellation, and I held off on buying a variegated Monstera, Monstera for the like the longest, longest time. I just felt like they're so expensive. I think this one was three or four hundred dollars at the time, which just seems so outrageous to me, and it still is an outrageous amount of money to spend on a plant, but it's so worth it. I hate to admit it, but I am obsessed with it and I am really, really get glad that I got this plant. Um, it's so beautiful. Like in person, it really does, you know, it really does hit the spot. Like it's probably one of my favorite plants and I just felt like, oh, everybody loves it. You know, I, I like to find different plants and invest money in plants. Maybe not everyone has. This one's really good. <laughs> When I got it, I just, it just has grown on me. It's really easy. It doesn't require much. Um, it's not a very fast grower, but when it does put out a new leaf, the excitement, can I just tell you the excitement of that new leaf? I just live for it. Um, I will say that the variegation kind of, I don't know why, maybe it's getting too much sun where it is, but the, this leaf, this leaf was so, so beautiful. There was a lot of variegation on it. And that part of it just kind of died off, which I think is pretty normal. Um, and part of the reason why I prefer the Thai Constellation is that it's not, with the Monstera Alba, you're gonna get big blocks of white variegation where this one's kind of speckled throughout. So not as likely to have as much of this um, type of thing happening with the leaves there. But it's a really, really great plant, guys. I, I If you're on the fence about it, this is one of my favorites. Um, this one has grown like crazy. It loves an airy, chunky soil. Look at the roots coming out there. It looks like it, it needs to be repotted again. There is definitely a reason why this plant is very popular, very expensive. Next up is this beautiful Alocasia cupria. This is such an interesting, crazy, alien looking plant and you know, I struggle with alocasia, with pests and all of that, but this cupria has been really, really great. And the leaves have grown huge. It's barely needed anything from me. It's been a surprise. I wasn't expecting to really love this plant. I found it for $20 
and it had been on my wish list for a long time and when I saw it for $20 at King's Greenhouse in Charlotte I thought oh my goodness I have to get one of those um, and the reason why I hadn't gotten one sooner was because they were expensive and I thought oh it's an alocasia like what are the chances it's gonna you know not get spider mites or something but it's been great it has not had any issues just look at that leaf <laughs> It's so cool. So if you're on the fence about this plant, definitely go for it. Look at the backs too. It's just a really cool plant to have. Everyone comments on it like, dang, look at that interesting plant. There is absolutely no way I could do this video without talking about Gloriosum. It is so worth it. If you are on the fence, if you're not sure, Gloriosum is definitely, definitely amazing. Like it's such a great plant. This poor plant has been through the ringer and it's still thriving. It's always putting out new leaves, new growth. Um, it's an absolutely amazing, amazing plant. It lets me know when it's thirsty. The new leaves just look absolutely beautiful. I can't say enough good things about Philodendron uh, Gloriosum. And it's a rock star. I forgot to mention, I think the Gloriosum was a couple hundred dollars for this really big plant. You can get smaller Gloriosums and find smaller ones, of course. Um, I always try to get the big plants. I just find they do so much better. This Anthurium Magnificum is all about the wow factor. I did not regret for a minute buying this plant. And it was expensive. I think maybe $250. I don't know how much they are now. But that was a big one for me. That was like a big, big payment. Oh my gosh, it's so worth it. This plant is so beautiful. And the it's just the size of those leaves. Like these other plants... You know, I've paid a lot of money. I've paid a few hundred dollars for them and the leaves are tiny and it's really exciting and stuff, but not like with a Magnificum. And it's not difficult, uh, not difficult care at all. Um, this one needed a little bit of humidity adjustment. I got it from Cactus Club and it had just come from Florida. So it had a little humidity adjustment period where all of the outside of the leaves crisped up, which is totally normal because then the new leaves came out and the new leaves were are totally fine. As you can see, it just needed that adjustment period on the old leaves. So next up is this beautiful painted lady. It's so easy. I mean, it it's really just look at all the new leaves it's putting out. It's enjoying a lot of the bright indirect light that it's getting. It lets me know when it's thirsty. I need to put this one on a moss pole. I am seeing a lot of these where the prices are coming down. I got this one from Cactus Club for $65, but I'm seeing them around for less and less. Um, and they're in more nurseries, so you can definitely find these around now. But look how beautiful that new leaf is. I love the bright red stems and these leaves can get really, really massive. I wasn't expecting to love this plant as much as I do. It's really turned out to be an unexpected surprise how much this is worth the money. It means super easy to propagate and easy, easy grower. It grows really quickly. Um, this is a fabulous plant. So if you're on the fence about this one, definitely recommend going for it. It's, it's really, really great. I love it. This last one is called a Hoya polyneura or a fishtail Hoya. And you can see because the leaves really look like a fishtail with the way they're shaped. And this one, I wasn't expecting it to grow much or do anything, but this plant grows like crazy. I found it easy to propagate. It's just a fabulous plant. And in person, this one looks so cool. If anything happened to this plant, I would definitely, definitely get another one. And there are other varieties of uh, fit Hoya fishtails or Hoya polyneuras. There's like Hoya polyneura broget, which are different colors, like they're kind of silvery white. And I've heard those are just as good uh, of growers and as easy to care for as this one is. And those are absolutely beautiful as well. So I do recommend this one if you're looking for an uncommon Hoya. Like I have a lot of other un uncommon Hoyas. Um, some of them I'm really impressed with, but I had to limit it to 10. So maybe I'll do another one with like 10 more rare plants that are worth it. So please let me know and let all of us know which plants you've bought, uncommon rare plants that have been worth the hype, worth the money, um, because it's totally different to just see someone's picture on Instagram and actually buy the plant and experience it yourself. Now if you have not subscribed and you would like to see future planty videos show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. We also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we'd love for you to be part of. If you have any questions about any of these plants, definitely leave them below and I'll answer as I can. All right guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye!